Hey guys, what's going on? Chom Kumar here, the Minister of Everything. Today I bought myself a G100 Panasonic Lumix and I want to test the firmware before and after when it comes to the autofocus capabilities of this camera. As you know and you've seen other videos, there's been complaints about the G100's autofocus capability right out of the box, but it's been out for a number of years now and there's been a new update release, but I wanted to see how bad things were before and after. And I wanted to test it across the three stabilization modes. Obviously one is off, the other is standard, and the third is high and we're gonna test these three modes before the firmware update and after right now the firmware version is 1.0 right out of the box and we're gonna just walk around and do the test and see how it looks before and after the firmware update um, to see if, if the stabilization has any impact on the autofocus capabilities of this camera so right now the stabilization is off and I'm walking around um, I'm gonna look at myself occasionally see how it looks um, I'm gonna be walking in good light and somewhat bad light um, to see if that has any impact on the firmware uh, update um, that I'm going to do. Um, I got this idea uh, when I took it out of the box, I wanted to do the firmware update to see and compare if there was actually any difference between the two. So right now stabili stabilization is off and I'm going to switch to standard stabilization to see if my walking um, improves um, with that, it would, and it should. But what we're trying to do is compare the two before and after the firmware. So we're going to need all three settings. So let's go to standard now. Okay, so we're now on standard stabilization mode. And I'm going to do the same short walk that I just did. So it's a fair test across the board. Um, I believe that in 4K 30 frames per second that if you increase the stabilization to high, there is some crop in. Um, but I believe for cameras at this level, um, that's pretty much standard. I know the ZV-1 does that as well. So once again, we are now in the standard stabilization mode and we're going to see if there's any improvement and there should be, I really hope there is. So that's standard. Now let's switch to high now. Okay, we're in high stabilization mode. As you can see, it's cropped in. Uh, even though I'm holding this at the end of a, a, a Joby stick, um, and it went as wide as I possibly can on my lens. There is that crop in and I have to push my arm out even further just to get the same field of view that I had with the stabilization turned off and on the standard mode. But I'm doing the same walk again uh, to see if the stabilization has improved and it should have improved. Um, but what we're gonna do again, just as a friendly reminder, is to check for autofocus um, before and after the firmware update. So here we are and we're finishing that walk. Now let's go and test this in low light um, and see how the stabilization, or sorry, the autofocus does in low light before we upgrade the firmware and do the same walk again. Stay with me. Okay, so now we're in my basement in somewhat low light. I don't want it to go too dark. Uh, if we can't see ourselves, then we won't even know if we're in focus or not. But what I'm trying to test here is to see on the high stabilization mode in the dark because we want to give every fighting chance for this camera to work in low light um, and so I figured leave the stabilization on high I don't have to repeat all three steps here all three uh, stabilization modes um, but I do want to see if the low light you know my face going in and out of the light will um, have an impact on the autofocus system um, in low light situations before and after the firmware so I'm just going to do a short walk around um, just around in my basement area. There'll be some light here and there as you can see the lights coming through the window But I do want to see if there's tracking or not. I can't see well um, On the screen if I'm in focus or not because I'm trying to pay attention to the lens and talk to you guys and uh, I'll look at all this footage later and see how it looks. So uh, so that's this is that um, there's one more test I would like to do, but I would probably do it in somewhat okay light when I do this next test, and that will be just going in and out of the shot and see how the autofocus does. Um, and I'll do it in fairly decent light to see if um, it's losing me or not. Um, because again, I want to do that firmware update and see if that rectifies the situation. So I'm looking at the screen and I think in decent light, you know, it's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk out of the shot, I'm gonna move the camera to the other side and I'm gonna come back and I wanna see if it acquires me. I, it's hard to tell, I think it did. So we'll, we'll have to do the testing later on. All right, now let's go do that firmware update and come back and repeat these tests and see how things look. Maybe there'll be a difference, maybe there won't. We won't know until we try it. All right guys, so here we are with version 1.2, fully updated the firmware for the camera body. Um, and we're gonna do the same tests again, this time starting again with stabilizer turned off. So we'll do the same walk here and see if the autofocus is better this time around 
after the firmware update in the same stabilization, stabilization modes. So this is stabilizer off. I can barely see the screen because of the sun. So we'll do the comparisons later. By the end of this video, you'll be tired of me saying that, I'm sure. Okay, let's switch to standard stabilization now. Okay, same walk, updated firmware, stabilizer on standard. Plus, we're looking for autofocus. Whoops, sorry, almost dropped it there. We're looking for autofocus improvements from before and after under the same conditions, comparing it to the original firmware right out of the box. I'm trying not to look at the screen, but it's really hard not to. Okay, that's the second walk. Let's do the high stabilization now. Okay, the traditional crop in is in for the high stabilization mode at 4K 30p, repeating the same walk to see if the firmware update helped improve the autofocus capabilities across the three stabilization modes, off, standard, and high, and we are now on high. Okay, so that's, I'm gonna stop here, and we're gonna switch to the low light testing capabilities with the new firmware update. Let's get right to it. All right guys, uh, so we're at version 1.2 again, just a friendly reminder, in low light, high stabilization. So it's high light right now, uh, or rather a lot of light, but I'm gonna walk into the shadows and go into low light and see if the camera loses me or if the focus is not that good in low light, no matter what the version number is. Um, so let's see, I think I'm out of focus, um, but we'll have to look at it all afterwards. Uh, I'm in focus now. Um, do a one more walkthrough just to get a c confirmation on how this looks with the new version, version 1.2 released as of June 2021. Um, I could see the software trying to track my eye, but of course in low light it is losing me intermittently. And I could see slightly out of focus, but again I'm going to confirm all that later. And if uh, my findings are different, it'll be in the writing below um, on the screen. So in fairly decent light it looks okay with the high stabilization, but I think as I go into like this, it's struggling, I can't tell. Like I said, I'm just gonna do the walk around and make the judgments after the fact, so we'll do that. Okay, now let's go back into the light a little bit and do the same test as before. Point the camera away, walk into the shot, look for acquisition. Uh, it's really not that bad, if you ask me. Um, I am coming into focus with decent light, um, so, Let's go to the assessments now. Let's look at all side by side. In good light, both firmwares look good, even with no stabilization. However, when you start to go into low light, you can see an improvement in the updated firmware where the subject stays in focus the entire time while it focus hunts with the old firmware. firmware update, you don't really see an improvement in good light with standard stabilization. However, when low light starts to become a thing, the footage starts to look better with the updated firmware than it does in the original firmware. In high stabilization, there's no difference in the footage in terms of sharpness in good light. Just as before, in low light, the updated firmware does provide sharper footage than the original firmware. In low light with high stabilization mode, both firmwares struggle just the same and the focus hunting is pretty prevalent regardless of which firmware you're using, giving the indication that while we have improved the situation in good light, in bad light, we haven't really solved the problem of the focus hunting as evidenced here.
When it comes to coming into focus, both firmwares provide very similar results. So what do you guys think of the firmware update? I think the autofocus was bang on once the update was done, even in the shadows, uh, as I started walking from good light into the shadows. Uh, however, as you saw in the basement, when the autofocus tracking lost track of my face because it was starting to get darker, it, the firmware update didn't really help with that. It was just as bad as it was before. However, as you saw, as I walked closer towards the window and the light was restored on my face, it picked it up right away. So. Definitely an improvement. Uh, the firmware definitely improved its performance in that in those shadows, but low light is leaves much to be uh, desired for. However, for the price point of this camera and what it does, I think it's amazing. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and definitely leave a comment below of what you want to see and what you thought about my experiment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.